Hello, this is Seth McKeel, and for my project, I have chose to visit Australia. So Australia is located in the South Pacific and has a population of about 25 million people. The arithmetic density in Australia is 3.1 people. The major languages spoke is English. They speak English. And the government type they use there is called a parliament. The major religion there is Christianity. And their currency is called the Australian dollar. So one U.S. dollar is about 1.35 Australian dollars. The capital of Australia is Canberra. And also the major cities are Sydney, Melbourne, and Perth. Some of the main things Australia is known for is the outback and their beaches. The reason I wanted to visit Australia was because I wanted to go fishing on the reef called the Great Barrier Reef and do some of their marlin fishing. The fishing in Australia is like none other in that they do it a totally different style than we're used to here in America. Out there, no matter what they're fishing for offshore, they're using a sport yacht, which includes Vikings, Hatteras, Bertrams, all these big yachts. I mean, there's tributes and everything else. That's what you use. When you're marlin fishing, it's a totally different style. In tournaments, especially in tournaments, the captain, if you got a fish on, will throw the boat in reverse and back it down, normally flooding the back deck of the boat to just to get the fish in. If you're just fishing for fun on a charter, then the captain's not going to do that to his boat because he doesn't need to. The only time you'll really see a center console boat is when you're fishing for, like, small stuff, including mahi, bonita barracudas all these other types of fish another thing they have there in australia fishing wise is called the unconventional what that what they, that is is that they use these conventional reels that have been redone to fit the way they like to fish being in that the reel is backwards so we reel forward, they reel in reverse because that makes them feel like they're pulling in the fish, not cranking down on it. Also, that same thing happens to their spinning reels. They're, they're moving it in backwards motion than what we're used to. So when you reel it, it is a totally different deal. Another thing I would really like to see in Australia is the outback. There's so many cool animals to see, including kangaroos, koalas, and so many more. I feel that would be a little more difficult now than before because of the major fire they just had that burned so many forests and took out so many animals. That is what I would really like to do in Australia. I want to really go fishing in take down some big black marlin and go see the outback okay so since i'm going to australia i mean i would be going in the summertime because that's when the black marlin are really thriving so of course i'm going to take my fishing shirts to be on the boat with because i like using them for that purpose they work good they provide good air yeah i'm gonna bring these columbia shorts that double as swim shorts because they're really fast drying so you can fish swim pretty much go anywhere in them another thing i'm going to bring is my extra tough boots those are my number one boots that i'm going to wear on the boats whatever boat i'm on they have really good grip very comfortable I'm going to bring some tennis shoes, because if I go to the Outback, you're going to want some toughness on them, just not rubber. I'm not going anywhere without a pair of flip-flops on me, because, you know, it's me. Of course, i got to take my Crocs, because you can always wear a pair of Crocs. But in the summertime, 
in Australia, there's no real need for pants just because the climate there, it's about, it gets about as hot as Florida does, but you end up, it's a little bit rainier, so you get some more humidity in the air. Since I'm going to Australia in the summertime, there are some very nice restaurants around there that I might want to go try. So it can't ever hurt to bring one or two nice shirts to wear out if you ever decide to go to dinner in a very nice place, let's say in Melbourne or Sydney or other nice cities like that. As I mentioned earlier, it gets very rainy in Australia, so it never hurts to bring a rain jacket. Whether you're on the boat and water spraying up on you or you're just walking around the city and it suddenly starts downpouring on you. It also never hurts to bring a couple of hats to wear. Whether one gets lost in the water, stolen, you lose it in your room or something like that. So as far as tackle goes, I'm always going to buy it when I'm there because you never know what you're going to be dealing with whether they want you to have a totally different kind of reel, bait, whatever. I'd rather buy it at a local store there that knows what they're doing more than Bass Pro Shops in Brandon, Florida because they don't exactly know what they're doing talking about Australian fishing. The only people that know that are the people in Australia fishing or running the pro shops for fishing down there. 